I don't either. <laughs> okay, fire away, everybody. Richard's got more at the beginning, and he had to step in into the game last week. Just how proud were you to see him make that stretch? It was, it was so good to see, uh, you know, redemption for him. Uh, you know, he worked so hard, like, after – after we put him on the bench, I mean, he didn't give up. You know, he just kept coming to practice and working on his uh, catching. And uh, I mean, I, I told him just the other day, just maybe a week and a half before that game, I said, I said, man, I said, you are doing great here in practice. I mean, he and his confidence was getting better and better. And, and when we needed him most, he stepped it up and did a great job for us. I mean, I, I couldn't be more happy for the kid and I couldn't be more happy for the group. You know, the guys have been working hard. The other, the other 10 guys out there on the field have been working and, and blocking things up and, and, and doing it all year. We finally got some payback. Dave, uh, you said after the game that he uh, went to the point where he didn't really want to do it anymore. Yeah. What, what did you tell him then? What, what did you uh, he, he didn't say it to me. Uh, he, he, said it to, <laughs> he said it to somebody else, uh, but he said, don't put me in there, you know? So, I mean, that was, I mean, obviously that was, we took him to the limit, I mean, basically on that. And, um, you know, that's not why we didn't put him. We already had decided at that point you know that he needed to sit down for a minute, you but guys have made the yes, yes, but he did. You know, he did. Came, he came to that. You know, and, and the good thing is, you know, he's being honest. I mean, he's being honest. He's telling you how he feels. Uh, so that's important. I mean, that a guy's not going out there and feeling like he can't do it, and you're, you're throwing him in there anyway. What do you guys do to, to build him up? Then? Well, I mean, that's the start right there. I mean, those that was that was a great game. I mean, I mean, an important game, championship game. Um, you know, to do what he did. And come through like he did uh, for us when we needed him most. Well, what, what do you feel like Butker's range would have been on a game? Like yeah, that's a good question because you know we were at the 37, 37, 38 yard line, and normally in a, in a situation, you know, where it's not that cold or windy, you know, we we go ahead and crank that thing and, and go up by three, and then make them do what they have to do there. But that situation was definitely a field position uh, deal. There was no hesitation at all. You know between coach and I, uh, you know, we punted it and we played field position. And, and the way our defense was playing, it was, it was, um, it was a no brainer, really. You know, defense was playing great. We stopped them, got the ball back. And, you know, and Tommy had a great punt. I mean, that was another good thing too. He, he was, he was, he was on in that game and, and, you know, put it on the six yard line. So that was, that was perfect. What about the one at the end? Like how, how yeah. long would you, would you prepare to kick that one? Oh, the one at the end, we, we probably would have went a little bit further. You know, uh, we, yeah, yeah, I think it would have been in the 50s. You know, that, yeah. The game, he thought maybe 55. I, I was watching. Sure, at that, at that point, at that point in the game, yeah, I mean, you're going you're gonna to win the game. How so. were those conditions? I was watching him in pregame, and I think he came up short that way from like 53. He was, he was, yeah, he made 53, and he was short of 55. We, we tried a couple 50, 55 on, yeah, it was, it was tough for, you know, for him not making a 55. That, you know, our, our line was a 35-yard line, so we'd make a 53. That was that was a spot that we felt comfortable during the game. At the end of the game, when you're going for a game winner, at the end of a half, you, you go a little bit further. You mentioned the word redemption, and Coach also mentioned it after the game. As far as Butler's concerned, how, how gratifying was it to you that he was, was able to go out there and nail that? It was it was great for me as a coach. I mean, that's what you you try to strive for. You want to see your guys succeed, so I was happy. You know, I was happy with that. Dave, when it comes to playing in Arizona, you know the first week what happened with Harrison Bucker, a little more relief that George Tillman. Yeah, what was that? What? How, how many weeks ago was that? Twenty-three Honestly, weeks ago. Yeah. Twenty-three weeks ago. But how how much relief do you have that George Tillman is in charge of the field now, as opposed to week one with Arizona? Yeah, I know. I, I you know for the Super Bowl they're going to have a beautiful field. We know that. So um, you know that that field that we played on, they had they had practice, they had preseason games, there was some college, high school games on it before we played on it. So there was a lot of things going on before we played. That's not going to be the case now. So, I mean, we know the field is going to be uh, pristine for us. Which is obviously a, a good problem, but if Kadarius is back up, does he go back in the punt return or you just die agree? Or yeah, he's, he's, he's our guy. He's our go-to guy. You know, he's, he's our, yeah, he's our number one. Um, you know, and, and then we'll see. I mean, obviously, uh, Sky helped himself, you know, obviously. But, you know, we're not, we're not going to just throw him right back in there again. I mean, we he did a great job coming off the bench. We'll keep him in that role.
Yeah, Tommy, all year long, he's, he's given, us, given us the flip the field punts, too, as well. I mean, all year long. I mean, that's why he made the Pro Bowl. But uh, in those situations there, a touchback would really hurt you. I mean, that, that extra 15, you know, uh, 14 yards, whatever we picked up right there, by, by pinning him down there uh, was huge, you know, for our defense. That's a whole series, you know, to get to that point. You know, what it took him to get to the 20, you know. So, uh, you know, he, was, he, he came through for us in a big way. Coach, on Sky's return, in addition to him, you had numerous rookies talking about us, guys like Cook, Ford, yes. Cochran, Patrick Johnson. How satisfying is that as a coach? Oh, it's, it's, it's tremendous. We watched it today. So, I mean, it's, it's fresh in my mind. We watched it, and we looked at We saw some rookies, like drive, like Jack Cochran took his guy and just drove him off the field and, and flat-backed him. I mean, he was a, one of their key players. And I, and I just told him, I said, you guys are not. I mean, look at this. You are not rookies anymore. I mean, you guys have arrived. So, I mean, that's, that's the way we feel. All right.